Red Dead Redemption 2 is an enormous game, not just in terms of the size of its maps, but also the amount of content that it offers. With plenty of animals to hunt, guns to purchase, outfits to wear, and more, there's a lot of stuff that you're going to have to do if you're going to be the completionist type of gamer that wants to do absolutely everything in the game before you stop playing it. Since we like to help our readers and viewers out, here's all the things that you're going to need to do in Red Dead Redemption 2 before you can truly say you've done everything possible. Missions and Events Of course, an enormous part of completing any game all the way through, especially an open world game, is going through the story. Red Dead Redemption has around 107 different story missions to play, and those are just the story missions, so doing those will already take you a good long while. But they aren't the only ones in this category. Players will also have to deal with at least 10 of the game's side missions, or Stranger Quests, deal with 5 Bounty Hunter missions, come across 25 chance encounters, which like the name says, are entirely up to chance, surviving one gang ambush, and clearing out every gang hideout. All of these can likely be experienced as you play through the story missions since there's 107 of them, but the bounty hunting, stranger quests, and gang hideouts will require you to go off the beaten path. However, as long as you're handy enough with a gun, all of these can be achieved easily. Collectibles Nothing drives open world gamers to insanity more than collectible items. Whether it's uh, Korok seeds in uh, Legend of Zelda, Breath of the Wild, Nern Root in Skyrim, or Feathers in Assassin's Creed, small annoying collectibles that gain no reward but satisfaction are a staple of open world games, and Red Dead Redemption 2 is no exception. In order to get all of the collectibles you need for 100% completion, you'll have to do the following. You'll need to make a sketch of at least one point of interest, find the graves of nine of your fellow gang members, complete at least one set of cigarette cards, and complete a number of missions, specifically a test of faith, a fisher of fish, duchesses and other animals, geology for beginners, and a better world, a new friend. You'll also need to find at least one buried treasure and collect 20 dream catchers across the world. These missions are much more time consuming as the cards you get in a cigarette pack are random, so you might have to buy and use a lot of premium cigarette packs or find them throughout the world, which will likely cause you to do a lot of traveling. The Compendium the American frontier is a vast and untracked wilderness filled with a ton of stuff that you can learn about. And that's the purpose of Red Dead Redemption 2's compendium. Unfortunately for you, getting 100% completion in the game requires you to fill the entire thing. In order to do that, you'll have to study 50 different animals, obtain 10 different equipment items, fish 10 different types of fish, discover every gang in the game, discover 10 different breeds of horses, discover 20 different types of plants, and obtain a whopping 48 different weapons! If you really get into the game's hunting mechanic, this shouldn't take too long, though things like acquiring 48 different weapons might take a good bit. Player. If you're going for 100% completion ranking in Red Dead Redemption 2, then you're going to be spending a lot of time with Arthur Morgan. And the longer you spend with him, the better he'll get in terms of his stats. In order to get 100% completion, players will have to do a number of things involving him and his actions. These include getting his health, deadeye, and stamina to the maximum. Along with those, you'll have to achieve level 4 bonding with a horse, which means watching out for them instead of casually brushing off their debts, and completing every challenge to make yourself the toughest hombre in the West. If anything, the challenges may be the worst part, as they're divided into categories that you'll have to complete, and there's a lot of categories including bandit, herbalist, explorer, gambler, horseman, master hunter, sharpshooter, survivalist, and weapons expert. Miscellaneous? There are also a number of miscellaneous things you have to do in the game if you want to truly call yourself a completionist in Red Dead Redemption 2. While they're not part of the regular categories, you'll still have to do them if you want to make sure that you've done everything you can in the game. This includes finding five different shacks, hunting down five legendary animals, playing each game available to you at least once, interacting with five special characters, take at least one bath, see at least one show, craft one recipe from each category available, and perform every type of robbery, including house, train, and home coach. 
While all of these different challenges may seem difficult to do at first, most of them can be completed over the course of the main story, and considering how big and full of stuff to do that Red Dead Redemption 2 is, you might have just as much fun getting a 100% completion rating as you would just playing through the game regularly. And if you get stuck, visit our website for some helpful hints on where to find things.